Right here we can start with questions. If you have a question, please raise your hand, and we'll begin with Stephen. Hi, Alan Veronica. Thanks for talking with us. I wonder if you could kind of give your overall thoughts on the game and, and the challenging conditions you played in. Uh, I played in Houston for four years, and this is the hottest it's ever been. <laughs> Hands down. Hottest game it's ever been. Um, and I think you could see the toll it took on both teams. So it's, it's a shame that we had to play in these conditions, because I think both teams have a lot better quality. Um, to show, but yeah, that's just the reality of the situation. Yeah, I mean, Visa the best. I mean, uh, we take what we can away from this game. I think we we definitely struggle a little bit, but all the more, that's just what we learned from this game and then uh, using our next ones coming up. I think there's a lot to learn from this. All right, next we have Jeff, go ahead. Um, there's been a lot of uh, rotation in the lineup all season on a match like today where you definitely needed everybody coming in and out late in the game, even with numbers being what they were, with them being a player down under those conditions, how important was it that you've been able to rely on those different combinations of over a dozen matches previous to tonight to be able to even pull off the clean sheet and take away a point? Absolutely, yeah, I think it's incredible the depth that we have on our squad. I mean, at any moment we can call upon anybody. Uh, you see that in the Challenge Cup with our results in the Challenge Cup as well. I mean, we're so thankful for, the, for our people that can come in and there's nothing lost. If anything, there's, there's things gained because they're fresh. So I think that's a true testament to the players that are, you know, maybe don't get the start but are still working their asses off in practices. Thanks, Jeff. Uh, Jada, go ahead. Jada. You can put, she can put in the yeah, chat. Yeah, Jada, you can type in your question or you can text okay. it to me. You're, you're, you know, um, Jada, you're, Jada, your internet's really in and out. We can't get your questions. Can you just text it to me or type it into the chat? She not, might not be able to hear us. Yeah, she's texting me about it. All right, Jeff, you can go ahead. Um, given those circumstances and everything today, uh, pulling out a clean sheet uh, with with the players out, what does that specifically mean, knowing that you did accomplish that particular task? I think it's massive. You have players like Ryan Brown pulling off two goal line clearances, and that's absolutely incredible. And you know, I like I owe a lot to her for that. And I think that's just what you see on this team. We just work for each other, even in um, circumstances that aren't ideal. That we just work for each other. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Jeff. Um, we're still waiting on Jada. Are there any other questions in the meantime? Uh, Peyton, go ahead. Hi, I was just wondering, Veronica, if you could speak to Fallon's performance tonight. Um, she had just some incredible saves, and like you mentioned, Fallon, just the defensive unit put in a really big shift tonight. So I was wondering if you could speak to that. Yeah, Fallon ball balled out, and like it's amazing, and she's amazing. But we, as a collective, need to make her life easier so that she doesn't have to make these save of the weeks every week. So that's amazing, and she's incredible, and I'm so proud of you for this game. But we need to be better as an 11 from, from the forward line, midfield line, and defensive line. Like, it, it starts as the collective unit. Thanks. Thanks, Peyton. And then I do have Jada's question here. Uh, she asked, what do you do to adjust to the heat when it's like that? Anything different because they said it was the hottest, like the hottest game? Uh, honestly, like, all you have to do is you have to hydrate and... It's like I, after playing here for four years, even on days like today, it still affects you almost as much as the away team being the home team. And you can see that like both teams were struggling and it's it's just the unfortunate thing about soccer sometimes and playing down here. But yeah, you just have to hydrate and you have to make sure you're pumping electrolytes and carbs and we have great staff and nutritionists that really helps us um, get the right things we need in our bodies. Yeah, all right. Looks like that's it for questions. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Fallon. Thanks, Veronica. Thank you. Thank you, guys.